Tom, welcome to Sheffield. It's, uh, it was a busy day yesterday and a, and a busy day getting all this media stuff out of the way today. Yeah, it was, it was just good to get on the ice yesterday with the players. Um, it had been a crazy 24 hours and uh, by the time I got off the ice yesterday and did some video in the afternoon, I was, I was exhausted, but uh, really excited about getting through this press conference and then getting on the ice again with the club. What was the message yesterday to the players? Because they must have been excited, a, a new man in town, but also, you know, your reputation, you, you're coming in here to, 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 if you like, make a point to them. Was there was a little bit of a feeling out process early doors? No, um, I just tried to establish uh, my credentials to them and my commitment to them. Um, told them they all had a fresh start, uh, that I would be evaluating things as we went forward and that what's happened in the last six weeks is, is irrelevant to me. It's what we're doing going forward that's going to matter and everybody's got an opportunity to, uh, to earn their spot on the team. That was a point that was made in the press conference that you're looking to make no changes. Yeah. These guys are here and they're your guys. Absolutely. No, I, I would love for that to be the case. That would be the simplest thing for all involved is for, for all the players in that room to take ownership of where we're at, uh, step up, do the work required, commit to what we're doing, and then let's go out and be successful. Let's just go back a few days. Obviously, the process of you coming here was, was a quick one. We spoke, you spoke with Tony, Gary, <laughs> yes, everybody was. there. Um, and then really from deciding, you were almost on the plane instantly, weren't you? There's no other way to do it. If you're, if you're going to commit to something and, and uh, leave, the best thing to do is get your bags packed, get on a plane and get going. And that's exactly what I did. I was in a unique situation in Asiago in that they uh, had given me the opportunity to leave uh, if I found a better position. And uh, it, was it was tough to leave, in all honesty. I, I, I developed a great relationship with my players there and the ownership there and care about those people tremendously. But uh, this is not an opportunity you could say no to. So it's been... Uh, been an interesting 24 hours and just looking forward to, uh, to getting some normalization back in my life. Yeah, and what, what's your first impression, the building, your, your staff, Andy, uh, all, all the guys there? Fantastic. Uh, the building's outstanding. Uh, the staff has been terrific. They are bending over backwards trying to help me out and my point to them is just go and do your job. You do your job and I'll take care of the things I need to take care of and, and things are going to work out just fine. And you're a hockey man so Saturday, 7,000 people going crazy. That's, that's one of the reasons. That yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. That's, I mean, that's why you do the job. Um, it's a lot more fun coaching in those type of environments than coaching in empty buildings. And uh, it'll be uh, good just to get thrown into the fire. It's the best way to do it. And uh, looking forward to the challenge.